to pump pressurize the left and right hydraulic systems. The engine-driven pumps are the primary pressurization sources for the left and right hydraulic systems. The electric motor pumps are demand pumps. The pumps come on when there are large loads on the systems. The demand pumps come on automatically at different times. They will operate for three minutes after the second engine is started. When takeoff thrust is set until the flaps are up. During descent, when the landing gear lever is down and radio altitude is less than 1,000 feet, until ground speed is less than 40 knots. When you operate the thrust reversers, and when system pressure is low, The center hydraulic system has two electric motor pumps, C1 and C2. One pump operates as a primary pump, the other as a demand pump. The day of the week from the FMC is used to control which pump operates as the primary. The primary pump operates continuously after the second engine is started. The demand pump comes on for three minutes after the second engine is started. It also operates when there is flap or slat movement. When takeoff thrust set until radio altitude is more than 2,000 feet. During descent, when the landing gear lever is down and radio altitude is less than 2,000 feet until ground speed is less than 60 knots. And when system pressure is low. The ram air turbine, or RAT, is the emergency power source for the hydraulic and the electrical systems. The RAT pressurizes the flight controls on the center system. The RAT is stowed internally in this area. The RAT is a small turbine that operates an electrical generator and a hydraulic pump. The RAT automatically deploys when some hydraulic or electrical malfunctions occur. Click Next to continue. This advisory message tells you there is a pump overheat condition. The fault lights come on because of low pump pressure, high temperature, or if the pump switch or selector is off. In this example, the right primary pump is too hot. Push the right engine primary pump switch to stop the pump. The right demand pump comes on automatically to supply pressure to the right system. These are some other pump overheat messages. Select one to see more of the message. This advisory message shows when the fluid level in the right reservoir is low. The Sonoma low indication. The other indications of reservoir quantity are refill and overfill. When these show, it is necessary to add or remove hydraulic fluid. These indications show only on the ground.
This advisory message tells you there is a pump pressure malfunction. The right system primary pump pressure is low because the pump has failed. Push the right engine primary pump switch off. These are other pump low pressure messages. Select one for more data. These caution messages show when hydraulic system pressure is low. Select one to see more about the condition. With some hydraulic or electrical malfunctions, the rat deploys automatically. You can also push the ram air turbine switch to deploy it manually. The rat cannot be stowed again after it is deployed in flight. Deploy the ram air turbine. The unlocked light comes on and an advisory message shows when the rat is not stowed. The pressure light comes on when hydraulic pressure for the center system flight controls is more than 3,000 psi.